Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be doing Sharpshooter Gunslinger, uh, which is Marksmanship uh, Sniper. Um, I really want to go mid here, but I figure I might as well kill this guy first, because we don't really know what's going on mid, and we don't do too hot without a front line. We can take some damage, but we can't take too much damage. Marksmanship is uh, in a weird spot. I would say it's probably the only one that uh, doesn't really have any any like uh, way to continuously deal with more than one person and even dealing with one, but one person is sometimes uh, trouble. The root on penetrating blast is pretty good uh, for dealing with people, but not always that great. There are things like hydraulics that are just running down like APPT. Absolute nightmare fuel as a sniper. Um, there are definitely things you can do and basically uh, the best way to really play is try to make yourself uh, Part of the target like uh people have to go out of the way to hit you and or um ignore their front line or ignore your front line to hit you so positioning is definitely really key you have a lot of movement speed to make sure they can do this positioning and then you also uh i have a hollow locate uh sometimes i don't run if i have like if i know there's a decent healer on my team because i would rather have the team support uh, other than that, in this match, I believe we run into Ivano. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm not, uh, not speak whatever language he speaks, but uh, he does speak English too. He's uh, other channel. I'll, I'll link his channel in the uh, description if you guys haven't seen him. I'm sure he has though. Um, if he's playing PT, he's a carbonized person. Uh, thankfully, since I do have a front line, this does mean that I get to play relatively freely. Um, I figured I'd just upload this just because, you know, hey, don't see Avano on SF very often, and, you know, two of us in one match might as well. Uh, relatively peaceful game for me. It's not like uh, anything crazy here. I'm not like doing anything special. Uh, but basically, if you, if you want to know how to do damage on MM, just TL, DR, and just snipe, snipe, follow through, uh, penetrating rounds, follow through. Ambush, follow through, just over, over, over. It just never stops pretty much anytime you have a follow through, or I believe it's quick shot on, uh, or quick draw on um, sharpshooter. He pretty much just uses it every single time. It helps with your energy management, but also at the same time, it's a decent amount of damage. You can constantly proc it. So it's a nice ability and an instant ability. You are doing a lot of channeling, a lot of your channeling is uh, finishing rounds, ambush, and charge shot. Should be aim shot, charge shot. Or charge blasts. Um, and on top of that, you do have uh, suppressive gunfire, suppressive gunfire. It's a very good AoE. A um, it's very massive too. And it pulls people out of stealth, so if they're hiding in stealth, uh, they this and stealth out or something, you can make, they pull the mech out with it, which is pretty nice. Uh, the AoE penetrating rounds with a fraction point also can pull people out of stealth. It's another cool ability. Uh, I believe I am running a refraction point, but I'm also running the uh, increased damage uh, penetrating rounds. And I'm not not using the root one. Normally I like to root one, but I figured I would play a little less annoying and hopefully not get tunneled for that. And uh, it worked out pretty well, thankfully. Uh, though I feel like if we tuck the armor pen and rooting one, it would be just as good because there's a lot of heavy armor targets here. And keeping them pumped up would be very beneficial for me. So arguably it'd probably be just as much damage, if not more. I would say mainly because of the armor pin and being able to keep them together. Uh, this guy does have Saber Throw Obscate, so I unfortunately Obscate here, so I'm just throwing some auto attacks until it goes away. Um, I can also just tab dot, uh, which there just wasn't very many targets for me to do that. Um, so really in your like priority, I would say, is uh, penetrating rounds and uh, resetting and use penetrating rounds again. Obviously, you can control after each one. Uh, sometimes I forget, but for the most part, you know, it's it's a pretty straightforward, very simple spec. Uh, your damage is well split between pretty much all of your abilities, so it is important to make sure they use them all the time. And your aggressive dart or uh, vital shot, I think it's called, is uh, increased five percent damage to the target that you're hitting. Uh, so definitely always open with that. As you can see, I'm not taking the reset for Smothers Luck. Or um, this target. 
can't remember what it's called. It's like an accuracy buff. Um, the reason why I'm not taking it is because of the energy regen. Uh, it just allows you to be very spammy and very aggressive. And sometimes you'll, you're not going to be able to channel as much as you want. So if you're able to be more fluid with your target selection and pretty much always making sure to get your vital shot on somebody, not only are you getting damage out of dot, you're also getting damage out of uh, just having it on the target. And then just generally not having to really worry about your energy almost at all. There are like two times that I use my energy regen ability in this entire match. And uh, for the most part, it's just because I'm able to cast for a good bit. But generally, I like that one a little bit more. And it's not like necessary. If you were to run a different implant than I was doing with the energy recovery one, you would find zero reason to run this because you pretty much have no energy problems at all. And even if you're not running it, you don't really run into that much energy problems. Uh, however, if you are running the increased damage, uh, increased energy cost on penetrating rounds, you probably will run into energy problems if you're not taking any energy regen uh, at all. Which really all you would have to do is throw in an auto attack and you pretty much manage it. It's kind of like how uh, AP works. So once you get to threshold, your energy regen rate goes down. And on top of that, your... Um, your energy regen is a relatively low cooldown too, just like it is on uh, PT. So it is, uh, in situations, uh, just generally part of your sustained rotation. Other than that, um, really, really simple class, really easy to play, really straightforward. Its role gives you entrench, which is another important thing that's your CC immunity. Uh, I ended up getting uh, obfuscated again there, and I'd go for a super gunfire to see how many ticks I would actually miss. It was quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, I really wish they would just remove that tactical completely. Def definitely improves the uh, experience for specs that are already aren't doing very good. Uh, it just makes it a lot worse. Um, to be honest, I don't know why the range aren't bothering to hit me back, but hey, you know, I'll take it. Uh, we do have overwhelming melee. Uh, our team, or at least an old one, not of them, so they probably want to try to get rid of that first, but honestly, if you have a healer, you should probably hit whatever is doing damage to you. Especially as range, you're like the only ones that actually hit the other range, so if there's a lot of range uh, DPS, they're actually like pushing out numbers. Uh, the range DPS job should be hitting the other range DPS, kicking them and making it pretty much impossible for them to play, and if both mandos tried to do that to me, I would lose a lot of damage and I would lose a lot of pressure and our team would probably get destroyed a lot easier. But because they don't really bother to pressure me too much, I'm able to pretty much ensure uh, free damage over and over on all of them. And that's not a great thing for that. I do think this uh, spec is definitely capable of more damage and uh, I'm sure I'll play it more as time goes, but uh, for the most part it's a durability, especially when you don't have any players to play with you. It's probably one of the more annoying specs to play, and it's mostly just because it's so much chain line. I can take the roll ambush, but I don't like using their roll for ambush. Much like I don't like using my force speed for increased damage and reduced cooldown on my polarity. It's just fundamentally goes in. It's uh, kind of like the gameplay, in my opinion. But that's just, that's just me. Um, Maybe I'll try the Brawl Ambush at some point, because it does make it a little bit easier to 1vx. A lot of my experiences, uh, especially as a solo queue player, is having to 1vx, and this is definitely not the spec to 1vx on. And I would rather fight than hide for the entire Warzone. And, you know, AFK like everybody else, I can't stand that, so... I really just put you in a current position, because this class is just not good at 1vx. Anyway, um, so for example, in comparisons, like uh, engineering has a slow that you can roll on people um, that'll pretty much keep them you know, stuck there for a little bit. You have, um, let's see, the other thing, slow is just sort of crystal grenade. You have damage reduction tied to your absorb. And for engineering, you have an AOV that you can put down to kind of do like arrow denial. You have a lot of bursts. And generally, your sustained damage is a lot better and a lot easier to apply as somebody is chasing you. Meanwhile, uh, a lot of damage uh, on MM is penetrating rounds and recent penetrating rounds. Uh, that's really your best bet at dealing with somebody running you down, but even though uh, you may have that, it's still not too great because you still have to do, you know, charge, snipe, charge, snipe, and use aim shot. And, you know, that takes 
takes a decent amount of time. It's also very predictable and they can see it. So it's very easy for them to time things with reflect and other defensives to kind of mitigate your, your ambush or your aim shot, which also just doesn't feel good. Uh, I have no idea how they could make it better. I feel like the roll heal would be awesome, but at the same time, I feel like that would make it a little obnoxious. But, you know, hey, maybe they do a 5% heal or 10% heal, I think it would make it a lot better at uh, self sustain. Though, second wind is pretty good on the spec. And it's not that I'm against second wind, I just feel like on certain classes. Um, I'm a little too lazy to run second wind. I do find myself sometimes that, you know, it's at max health, so I have like. I don't need the move speed, and I don't need the healing, so what's the point of running it? Um, sometimes it's like that, and sometimes it's not. Most of the time, in my experience, uh, lately, especially as playing range, is that I don't need the healing. Or, I, not that I don't, yeah, I don't need the move speed, but I don't necessarily always need the healing. So I just don't run it. And the game is about to close out. We pretty much just played mid the entire, entire game. This is how Ancient uh, Hypergate used to be played, and I really miss it because this is this is pretty much every single Ancient Hypergate you ever played. Otherwise, it would just be node fight the entire time. It would never be split. It would never be uh, hot potato between which node. Um, these were definitely better days, and it's always nice to see a match like this again. Uh, anyways, if you guys have questions about Sharpshooter, feel free to leave them in the comment.